Wow, Wednesday already. Hey, it's the 3rd of August. I'm Ashton Altieri. It was a, another hot day yesterday, 97 in Denver. Today we back off on the heat just a little bit thanks to this weak cold front that just brushed by Northeast Colorado earlier. Uh, and as that cold front now moves through the Midwest, creating a chance for severe weather over there, we're going to move our attention back to this ridge of high pressure that's been uh, hanging out in Arizona. The last couple of days it's going to move northeast toward western Kansas. As it does, it's going to open up the monsoon flow again across our region. Uh, largely this time of year, our weather is determined by where this ridge is set up. We almost always have this ridge somewhere in our region here in the summer months. And uh, if it's west of us, we're pretty dry typically. If it's east of us, we tend to be wetter. And that's going to be the likely story for this upcoming weekend with a pretty good chance for showers and thunderstorms. It's not going to be a total washout this weekend. And one day will probably be wetter than the other. I'll show you more on that here in just a moment. First alert future cast showing uh, mostly southern Colorado with the chance for rain today. But we will watch uh, Arapahoe County, Douglas County. No severe weather expected, but you probably have a little better chance closer to Monument than areas, say, up near Fort Collins do. But overall, the best chance to rain will be down here today. Colorado Springs southward towards Security, uh, Pueblo over to Canyon City, Walsenburg, those areas down south, uh, I-25 south of Monument Hill. Best chance for a thunderstorm activity later on today. Temperatures right around 90 thanks to that cold front. So it's not much of a front, but we do drop 5, 10 degrees because of the front here in the metro area. And no triple digits expected in the state today. Most mountain towns will be in the 70s or lower 80s. Tomorrow, we start heating things back up. Mid 90s on Thursday. In fact, over the next seven days, Thursday and Friday will be the hottest of the two. Uh, will be the hottest two days of the next seven, I should say. And on Friday, we should likely see a few triple digits back in the state before a stronger system arrives over the weekend. We drop into the 80s for both Saturday and Sunday. And look at that, up to a 60% chance for rain both Saturday and Sunday. Now, I'll tell you, one of those two days, we're probably going to see the chance get better. And then the other day, we'll see the chance get smaller. The weather models keep flip-flopping on which of the two days could be the wetter of the two. So stand by over the next uh, day or two. We should be able to fine-tune that forecast for you more. And, of course, it is the final weekend of the Colorado Renaissance Festival. And it wouldn't be the Renaissance festival without an afternoon thunderstorm it seems next week uh, not much change back up near 90 with a continued chance for late day storms don't forget we have your latest weather every 10 minutes over on the stream cbs news colorado is what we call it and dave will be back tonight cbs 4 news at 5 6 and 10 your latest weather then have a great wednesday